So how did I get my job as a cruise ship musician? Hang around, we're gonna talk about it. How did I get my job as a musician on cruise ships traveling the world for the past 10 years? Well, we have to rewind to my time back before cruise ships. I was a construction worker, a union masonry laborer, and at night I was a musician, like many other people, a musician with a day job until one day during a downturn in the economy, I was laid off. Oops. During my time being laid off, I had a lot of free time and I spent a lot of my free time scrolling social media. One day I clicked on a guy's profile, his name was Matt, and he was doing what I was doing, just playing acoustic guitar, singing cover songs. The only difference was he was playing the same thing I was doing, except he was traveling the world and I was at my local pub and something clicked. I thought, I need to do what this guy's doing. <laughs> We're doing the same thing. Yeah, I had to find out how he was traveling the world, doing the same thing that I was doing. I found out that he had an agent, okay? an agent would place him on the cruise ships. Okay, seems simple enough. So I found out who this guy's agent was and I sent off an email and I heard back from the agent and they said, oh yeah, here's what we need. Uh, we need a video of you performing, a, a list of 150 songs and a headshot photo. And we'll send it off to the cruise line. Boop, great. I got it all together, sent it to the agent, and waited and waited. Followed up, of course. Finally, I heard back from the agent. Oh, yeah, you know, hey, we sent off your promo to a few of the cruise lines, and they decided to pass. <laughs> Undeterred. Undeterred. That wasn't gonna cut it for me. I needed to get on the cruise lines and travel the world and basically do the same thing that Matt was doing. Back to the internet. I found out that there were several agents and I took my pack of, my promo pack, my video, my song list of 150 songs and my headshot and I sent it off to several other agents. And I followed up, followed up, followed up and it was like a year and I still hadn't heard anything. I'll tell you, it took me a year and a half from the first time uh, I sent my promo off until I actually got a, my first cruise ship job, a year and a half. What I think finally caught the attention of an agent that decided to place me on a cruise ship, I decided to sing a song in Italian. The song was Santa Lucia and I sat on the front step and I sang the song. I didn't know what the lyrics were. I was just mimicking the sounds. I still don't know what it means. <laughs> After I sent off the Italian song to this agency in Italy, I finally heard from them and they said, oh yeah, the people from the ship, they like you and they want to place you on a ship. Woo, finally, yes. <laughs> so 
So finally, things are starting to roll forward. After they told me that it was that they wanted me, it still took about six months to get paperwork and details and flight information. Finally, um, an, an, an agency in Italy, they placed me on an Italian cruise line and I had my paperwork in hand, my flight information, and I was going to a ship after a year and a half. <laughs> mm, okay, so let's break this down. There's two ways to get a job as a musician on a cruise ship. One is through a placement agency, and the other is directly through the cruise line. That's the way I recommend if you can. Not every cruise line, though, is going to make it easy to go directly through them. So if you can get a job through an agency, then do it. Do it as, you know, whatever way you can do it. What I didn't realize from that first agency is that my demo reel, my demo package, wasn't good enough. And they told me it was. So I wasted a lot of time just sending my demo package to them thinking it was good enough. Here's what you need to have if you want to get a job doing what I do, which is playing guitar and singing songs on a cruise ship. They want you to have a song list of 200 songs. I'll be honest, at the time I knew about 50 songs and I was gonna learn the easy ones as I went. Cruise lines have many opportunities for musicians. What I do is play solo acoustic guitar and sing songs in various lounges, sometimes up on the Lido. Other positions might be, you know, there's positions for drummers, bass players, keyboard players, just the singer of the rock band. There's piano bar, there's horn positions, there's string, violin, cello. There's many different positions. What I did and what I do is play solo acoustic guitar. <laughs> The good thing about my position as a solo acoustic guitar player was this is one of the biggest benefits of my position is that I get my own room, not shared with a roommate, living like a king. Other positions will require you to share a room with a roommate in a very small room with bunk beds. Thankfully, I had my own room and I didn't have to share when I was a solo acoustic guitar player. You're able to save a lot of money because you don't have any overhead. You're not paying for rent. You're not paying for food. You're not paying for gasoline for the car. All of those expenses go away. And I even got rid of my phone and because I'm not making phone calls when I'm on the ship. So what I did was get a phone number, a free phone number through Google and routed it through an app on my iPad. If I needed to call someone or take a message, it would go to a voicemail and I would get the message and I wouldn't have to pay for a phone service. But there are international phone services. You can get a SIM card that works internationally if you really want to use Wi-Fi. What I did to, for Wi-Fi is find a coffee shop, get online, and just check my messages. 
When you're first offered a contract, oh, by the way, you go on the ship as a contracted performer, which means you're under salary. You get paid for a certain amount of time. When I first started, the contract length was six months long. I had to go on the ship for six months. They've since cut that down. When I left ships, it was down to four months at a time, which is a pretty good time. It's a long time to be away from home, but I was not married and I didn't have any kids, so it worked out for me. I had a girlfriend, tried to bring her on the ship. That's another video. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, when you first get your contract, they're going to send you uh, various paperwork to sign. You might have to sign it when you get on the ship, but they will pay for your flight to get to the ship. My very first contract was over in Kiel, Germany. So they flew me from my hometown of Minneapolis, Minnesota to Chicago, Chicago to New York, New York to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Hamburg. Then we got on a van from Hamburg and drove to the port of Kiel. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Oh, oh yes, another thing. Before you join a ship, you will need to have a medical exam. And they will tell you what facility you can, you can go to your local doctor. It has to be a one that's approved by the cruise line. The first time I had to get my medical exam, I had it done here in the United States and it cost me $800. What? Yeah, $800. Afterwards, I got my medical exam done in Mexico and it was down to about my last medical exam done in Mexico cost a hundred and twenty five dollars. The clinic that I got my medical exam done in Cozumel is just as clean and modern as anywhere in the United States. Totally safe, approved by the cruise line. So you might have to suck up your expense well, sometimes some cruise lines I've heard, I think Norwegian pays for your medical exam. The cruise line I was working for didn't do that. I had to put up the money myself. Okay, a medical exam lasts for two years before you need to renew it. You need to renew your medical exam every two years. So you might have to put up the money first and get it done here in the United States to join your first ship. If you can do it, find a cheaper location. Me, I did it in Mexico. It cost me 125 as opposed to 800 here in the States. That's the way to go. What else do you want to know about the job? Leave a message in the comments and I'll answer for it. Mm. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Conversations with a crew member. Leave a comment on what you want to talk about. I'm going to try and do this a lot while we're hanging out. Until cruises get up and rolling again, talk to you soon.